Hello everybody, it's ProGalaxium9513 and we are here in World 4 Crazy Kremlin as Dixie Kong this time. Uh, I think we ended it with Diddy Kong, but you know, I always have to fight the boss once again just so we can have this music instead of using Funky Kong to get back. So, because you know, you turn off the game and you gotta turn it back on and all that other stuff. Anyways, um, we, we made it. And plus anyways, it's easier to, to do that boss with Dixie and it's gonna be easier to do to start this world with Dixie and let me tell you that so we're here guys let's do Hornet Hole because now we're fucking with bees in this world and there's honey so once you're in it you can't move you have to jump in order to move and there's a hook so I'm gonna have to have Diddy my baby there, there he is alright so we can team up here and get to higher places with each other go all the way up here and get everything because I think there's two bonuses here there's one up here and then there's one right below here to start off with as we find the token of appreciation so finding is going to bash all these bees with his chest because it's in all these chests so oh do that there it is at the end we're at 37 bonus coins what do you know we're about to be at 38 right now right here what do you know so they're pretty much gonna give a you know try to let us get used to this mechanic as we also stick on the honey on the wall and we have to move back and forth it's sort of like wall jumping so that is everything so far it's gonna be a breeze let me tell you that I've been practicing some of the hard tricks when it comes to this game and by that I mean just a couple things to show off not really things that's gonna make us better at the game really I completely missed those bananas that's nice there we go that's what I wanted that's all that's really over there there's usually nothing up I'd rather get rid of the bees, but you know, I also missed that just now. You can also just tap back and then move forward. Because you don't have to do that in some situations to make it further into the level. Yeah, that's why Dixie is just making this so much easier. I don't mind playing as her. I can do it with Diddy, there's no problem. It's just, you know. Why do the hard thing when you can do the easy thing? Ugh, I guess. I always have to make games easier, you know. You don't want to have a hard time. You want to have a fun time. So, we'll come back to this level right after I beat it. Because there's a trick I want to show off. I don't want to mess it up. Either. But it's right here, really. Once we come back here. It's a little scrolly scroll section. I didn't want to lose my squitter. And we lost our squitter. Damn it. Oh. There you are. That's that's so much better. He's just like Yoshi, he doesn't really despawn. Only time he does if he dies. I thought I saw bananas up here. There we go. That's what I thought. Some secret goodies. With our spider friend. The only spider I'll ever like, I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before. There's really, like, fuck spiders, besides this one. I don't think there's anything down there. It's just death. Or, takes you all the way back to an earlier part of the level. Which we don't want to do this, though, gives us the DK coin. It's right here. And the nice thing about Squitter is he can just run right through the honey. Since he has webs, he's used to the stickiness, I guess you can say. Might as well get all the bananas. I mean, we've been getting one-ups pretty easily that way, so... Lord knows we need them, always. So yeah, this level and then just one more level would really no there's another reason why I'll let you know here in a second why we're gonna come back instead of 
doing the trick now. And here's our final bonus. But uh, <clears throat> because I can actually soft block, <laughs> and I kind of want to show it off, to be honest. So we can just start select if we get stuck. I mean, when we get stuck. But yeah, this and then one other level. It's like the only ones that I really know. Like, pretty cool secret mechanics to it. You can say, like, cool tricks. Oh, we were just there at the end, too. We got rid of that. And we got rid of that. <laughs> we might die. Because we're Diddy. Nah, Diddy's good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm kind of getting over a cold right now. If you want to call it a cold, it's more like a flu. After coming back from our Florida trip. As you guys may know, this is why I sound this way. Because I'm sick. Ugh. I don't like it. But I'm getting, I'm feeling a little better now, so definitely want to get back into the swing of things. So let's get to the end of here. Uh, there's there's a couple more pretty cool tricks I can do in like the next world. I guess there's like one level I can think of. Oh my god! But that's like really, really skilled, and it's been a while since I practiced it. You guys might know what I'm talking about. And then when it comes to this world, it's going to be the level after the next one. It's uh, one of the wrong warps. It's, I think it's the... Well, we got one more after that that we can do. It's really easy. I do want to show that one off. At least. And we do need our spider friend in order to do this scrolly scroll trick. Which you guys probably already know about, but I still want to show it off. So... Hopefully I don't mess it up. I practiced this on the virtual console on my Wii U. But you have to be Diddy in order to do this. That ain't going to do it. Need to be a little bit lower than that. About right here. So put a web there. Hang here. Jump off of it. Be our spider friend. And we can just do this. And then if you do it twice, we can get stuck right here in the wall. So yay. There's no way out. I thought this was cool and it would save time if you can just do that. But nope. You're done for. I'm actually surprised I did that first try. Uh, because I remembered I had a... Oh. Yeah. We're gonna need our spider friend. Squidly. I mean squitter. Uh, you're not a squid. You have eight legs. Okay, no. You, well, yeah, you have eight legs right here. Not six. Could be an octopus. A squid would be six tentacles. Whatever. All right. Yeah, because then he would just fall right through it. So that's why it has to be a little bit lower. A little bit lower than that too. I just want to show it off one more time. Sort of like the speedrun tactic to it. So yeah, you want to. Never mind. I was gonna say you want you want to hold back a little bit and then jump over that and just keep moving forward and that's how you can get underneath this B. So let's try it one more time. Cause I don't want to spend too much time on it. Considering we already did it. It's also one more thing you could do. Let me see if I can come back and do it. So there's the DK barrel. I'm pretty sure they were Dixie when they did it. But you can like jump off of them or one of them. And that's how you can get up here. But yeah, it, it, it doesn't work with Di uh, Diddy. Or not Diddy, Dixie for some reason. You have to be Diddy in order for this to work. Because I, I tried doing it with Dixie. I'm like, what am I doing wrong on the virtual console? Yeah, that's a little bit too low. There we go. Alright. Time it right. Jump over that. 
and then you can just jump off of him and you get your like boost up here and we dodge that bee so there's our Kong College but we'll save it once we get some more levels out the way like maybe the next one after this which is one one I guess you can say hardest levels it's one of the hardest wrong warps to do I'll tell you that oh shit I'm not used to jumping off of this I'm used to jumping with it but man see I love this I mean we're in the carnival pretty much fireworks going off we're riding roller coasters I love this scenery this is like one of my favorites and I keep saying it too or at least thinking about it I said it at the beginning of the let's play but you know just Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong just going on an adventure going through here together you know it just reminds me of me and my girlfriend you know just going through everything together oh my god um um yeah I already got hit so you wanna hit the check mark the green check marks in order to open those gates don't wanna hit the red ones with the X cause that's bad obviously right green means go red means stop red means no green means so oh, you know you know how it is but yeah so I mean there's gonna be two levels like this you got this one and then the other one is gonna be a, like a race or we're gonna have to try to come in first not just come in first but you have to beat like land on the guy that's in first in order to get the DK coin and everything else bananas tell you when to jump what do you know follow the bananas see follow the bananas don't jump up there I knew that this bonus was coming too there we go it would suck um, oh squawks what do you know but speedrunning this game if you're like going back and forth from like a hundred percent to any percent it would suck to jump accidentally jump up there I think that's it did I not get everything of course not there we go I thought I heard it must have been hearing things that time I definitely heard it alright 40 b bonus coins the crim coins we're getting there so we can do all the bonus levels as well but this is episode 4 and you know we are definitely more than halfway done through this game now surprisingly I mean, seven worlds pretty much and technically eight I guess seven and a half but we can fit it all into seven episodes so we're definitely close to being at the end here the next world is one of the big ones one of the deadly ones oh we were supposed to follow him he had the bonus I forgot about the bonus. Yeah. We'll do it again. We'll do it live. Once again. But, yeah. It would suck if I hit that. It would also suck, you know, again, if you're going back and forth from any percent to 100%, and you guys don't go in that bonus when you're doing any percent. Yeah, that would just ruin everything. I don't know why I just thought of that. I guess because I do want to try to speedrun this game once we're done with this and try to learn it more. Definitely want to do 100% first, considering I know most of the wrong warps now is just practicing them. And honestly, I mean, on the Super Nintendo, the actual hardware right now, it's going to be kind of scary to try to do this wrong warp. But honestly, I think it's easier than world twos because I don't know just something about world two one wrong warp I just can't fucking get it sometimes I can sometimes I can't it's just it's for me it's finicky we're gonna go for the swag by the way swag banana get out of here go for that and a fucking run when you're like on really good pace, world re world record pace. Give me that one up. 
definitely need it because don't want a game over, especially in this world. That's the worst part. So here we go. This is one of my favorite levels just to go through regularly. Bramble Scramble. Because it also has the best fucking music in the game. Let's go. Oh man, I remember this now. Hush. Oh, thank God that was there. We were supposed to jump over here first. Get the K. Okay. Alright. Alright, that's even better. You'll see what I was trying to go for in a second once we go through this again. Right now we're just going to try to beat it. There's also that, which is nice. So, let's be invincible since we have the power of love guiding us right now. Since there's two of us. There you go. We could have gotten those bananas first, but eh. Let's get the bonus. Go ahead and get the bonus. Go ahead and be squawks again this time. We have to get the stars once we kill these guys. Oh, almost got hit there. Oh, flying with squawks. I mean, it just takes really good skill to like really optimize it to be fast and so good. There he is. Oh. Oh. I, we're actually good at the bottom. I forgot about that. It's the top you don't want to get hit by. <coughs> so that's what's going to be really fun about this level. Is using squawks. Just to get through here pretty fast. That's my favorite part. Without getting hit, of course. It's really nice. It's one of my favorite things. That's why, like, the wrong warp, like, okay, it's kind of hard to do. But, at the same time, I preferred it better when, like, the any percent run was based off of just going through here really fast with squawks. Oh my god. Of course that guy would get me. You want to stay on the right and then shoot to the left, so if he hits you with the hook, you're fine. And we already had the exclamation point, by the way. That's kind of funny. Meaning we already got all the bonus coins. All the bonuses. Oh my god. Okay. That's fine. Now we can just show what's over here, which isn't much. Which is just the way to the wrong warp, which ends right here. This is where the level would end, if you get the wrong warp. Oh my god, if I didn't go up so much. See, that's why I love this level. It's so dangerous. It is so good if you get it fast. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Hell, I might just fucking do it now. Since we're here, but... Nah, I'd rather want to start select if I screw it up. I don't know, just back in the day, you know, when they did that wrong warp. Because, like, when I first seen people do this level, like, they were really bad at it, honestly. Oh, I didn't want it, the lag there. Me, I'm doing pretty good, I'd say, getting through it. Oops, I say that. And I can't hit that hook, as I tried. Oh, dear. What was me? Uh, this was the level that was very anticipated by me, at least, to do. I was really looking forward to this one. Because to me, it takes pretty good skill. See, without trying to get hit there. I can afford to get hit once, but... It sucks that I do, because I want to be better than that. Look at that. Look at the speed on this son of a bitch. Hold on. What's over here? Oh, no. That's the way up. Yeah. See, that's what I was trying to do. Get out of here. I think that's the halfway mark. Ain't it? Yeah, holy shit. Oh, 
all, there's one thing though. Hold on. Secrets. Because we still gotta get the DK coin. So let's not forget about that. And use our good old squitter friend here. Oh shit. Okay, that's the way out. We don't want to go that way, I don't think. I think we want to go through this one, because there's the banana. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Is there a way down? I'll take that. Oosh. I guess not. That was that was just for that sweet, sweet goodness that we call a balloon. A blue balloon. And a red one for more one ups. So we skipped a lot of shit back there. Uh stuff I kinda don't wanna skip. I do wanna show it off. So we'll die here anyways. Hell, since I got hit already. <coughs> let's go let's go ahead and just show that part of the level. Since we have the DK coin. So we got everything. We just gotta beat the level. That's all we gotta do. And then I'm gonna save it. Because I don't wanna game over and do all this again when attempting the wrong warp oh that's nice so I mean this is really all that we missed now we're back here nice jump dude Oh, really I was going through that even with the slowdown So now we gotta go through it again. That's the only shitty part. Oh fuck. That bee almost got me. Yeah, wait for the, those three cannonballs. We probably could have made it to the second one if I did it that way. Oh, well, I wanted to switch with Diddy anyways. Yep. Yep. Sure did. Ugh. One of the speed, man. And then jump. That's the sound that's made when you kill them. <laughs> I don't know why I jumped. Yeah. But it's sure as hell faster. I'll tell you that. Yep. Sure is. I did it the first time. That's that's the funny part. It's always the first time, and then we have trouble. You got away here. We're not even at the best part of the level yet. Sort of. I mean, we kind of are. Just gotta get back down there. There we go. Oh, I didn't want to get a hit. Oh, fuck. We won't be here for a while. I'll just keep me and you back where the squawks is. The parrot. So, BRB. Oh, my God. Diddy's too fast. Ush. Anyways, we're back. Hopefully, we don't get hit again. Never mind. Meet you back there again, because you don't have to see that beginning part of the level again, so. Alright, guys. Oh my god, hush. I need to watch my lives too, because I've noticed we're at 8 now. Never mind. Well, now we're at 8 once again. See, I like that, because it, it didn't lag. It wasn't lagging, so that was pretty fast. But we need to be faster. Oh my god. Alright, well, here we go again. See, that's the thing that I don't like about the wrong warp. You know, because it just seems like... Okay, let, let me just talk about this real quick before cutting anything else out before I forget. Uh, 
Rolling Warp doesn't really take much skill, honestly. Like, it does to a certain point, but just getting through this level, I think, takes a lot more skill. So it's like, considering the speedrunners that I've seen, no offense to you guys, I know it's that hard. But, and obviously I'm not doing any fucking better, you know. But, once I actually practice and get this down, I guess, to a, to a good d degree... You know, where it obviously does take this much skill. Especially getting passed through that. So then adding the fucking wrong warp into it. Oops, got hit. I think we're, we're done now. Oh, we gotta wait for this. Oh, we gotta wait for that. I at least gotta wait for that. There's no way through here. But so now adding the wrong warp, it just seems like, oh, yeah, now it, it takes away that skill. Since they're already bad at it to begin with. There you go. Made it to the end, talking about it, of course. So, I mean, I, I like going through the level like that. So, I mean, to a certain degree, it does take more skill to do this wrong warp. But at the same time, it's just like, oh. For me, that that's more cool, going through the level that way. Let's fucking save it. Before we do this. I don't know how long this is going to take, but... The roll jump... Oh yeah, no, no it's, it's the other one I was I was thinking about. I, I guess we can talk about the area guard or yeah, the area guardian. Destroy the small zinger and his drones quickly, or they'll reappear after a while. Which we're going against Queen, Queen, Queen Bee. I think so. The zinger. Since you know, I don't know why bees want to be here and haha, be here. Oh, we want to go back here though. We need, we need Dixie for this wrong warp, for sure. I can't believe we're doing this now, but we're at this point, and then the rest of the world, rest of the video, rest of the everything, just get by it. So, but yeah, okay. I had to go back a little bit. Um, but okay. So, yeah, considering they were kind of bad to begin with going through it it just seemed like okay now they had this wrong warp so now it's an excuse to not be as good at the game you know what I mean uh, that's just my take on it oh there we go my hand got a little sweaty for a second there do we have another DK coin and by coin I mean barrel around here that I can just steal off of you real quick so I don't have to go back there is one it's all the way over here Oh, come on, we were fucking there. Of course that happened. I'll just go back to level 1 on world 4. Because, you know, bees wanting to be here with their honey. Only level 1 and the final level of this world has those. And then this level and this level are the only ones with the roller coasters. So we only got two more levels after the next one. And then we're done. I want to go back here. Then, oh, I'm kind of bad at that too. We need a quick setup. I think we can just go here. There's one right here. Yeah, phew, come on now. Come on now, Alex. Did you forget? <coughs> but if I go back, then we can re reload the bees. Oops. We can reload the bees to where we can get as close as possible to jump over them. It's just slightly faster. Like that, except actually jump over them, you know. I don't want to do that all the time, because you don't really need to. I know there's a lot of stuff that needs to be played out when it comes to wrong warps, where it's like certain things need to be loaded, certain things don't need to be loaded, etc., etc. Okay, we got it. Okay, right here, we gotta be really fast. We gotta come up here before the hook goes back to the guy. So yeah, I don't want to trust that. You can always just come back down here and try it again. Now honestly, I just want to get this one part of the wrong warp correct. We don't really have to do the wrong warp. I'll probably try to go for it. That seems to be good. Okay, so... Okay. We, we kind of took forever. So that's the other part of it. 
So go up there before the hook goes back to the guy. Jump over there. Up on the beetle. Get off the beetle. Fucking sacrifice Diddy so we can jump up there. Oh my god. You gotta really be close to those bees in order to jump over them. Let me tell you that. Once you load, load, uh, load them that way. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, you gotta be fast. So the hook stays on the screen pretty much. Just go under these fuckers. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to go back in it. Well, actually, you know what? I don't care. We're right there. Go ahead. So once we're done with that, we're going to have to pretty much do a beetle clash up against a vine. Is what they found out with Dixie. And it's really... It's kind of picky, but when, when you go down when you're invincible and you're holding the beetle, we're going to r jump down and jump on, off the corner of the bottom one and we're going to land on the upper corner of this bramble. We're going to stay there for like maybe a second and it's going to automatically make Dixie turn the opposite direction which is going to be this way. So we're going this direction then we're going to be turned that way automatically. Once that happens I have to let go of Y and re-grab Y and then that's how we get the invisible barrel. So wish me luck. If we do this first try, I swear to God, I'm gonna kiss you. Okay, see, it's kind of finicky. Hey, we did it though. But that's the problem. You have to stay invincible. Run through that guy. Jump over here. Land here. Throw it here. If you fuck it up, you're gonna throw squawks half a mile across the fucking screen. Hush. So I at least want to get there and throw it. So yeah, this is just to be fast. You know, that's slow, of course, but you know, for this sake, we're just showing it off. And show that I can do it. That I've learnt it. Learnt it. Oh, you really gotta hit the very back of that. I know it kinda looks like you're just bouncing, you wanna bounce your head on the upper one, which I'm always afraid of, but it really doesn't happen at all. That's just your way to get through it. Whee! Oh, that's great. Don't want to kill the beetle. <coughs> Note to self. Oh, that was close. I thought I was just going to fall through the vine, honestly. Damn. See, there you go. That's what happens when you fuck it up. You're pretty much going to warp that bonus barrel over here so we can land in it. I had it like spawn right here in the bottom corner instead of like spawn right on me, which I thought was unique. So we can try it again, I guess. Because honestly, I was more concerned of trying to get that part, like the invisible barrel. So see, when it comes to skills, I that's fine. World 2-1... I think it's because the hook. That's why it didn't work. You also want to have like small hops. Holy fucking shit. Aw. Aw, see. That, that's ridiculous that uh, I'm getting it, though. Kind of. Definitely I can see it better and feel it better after practicing and then just seeing it on this big ass screen. Oops. Oops. That's fine. We're Diddy. But yeah, I mean, like, that's honestly the trick that I was worried about. Yeah, I think it went back to him. So, it might not work again. It's just trying to jump up here. There we go. Hey, we fucking did it. Get out of here. Let's go. I don't care. Somebody call my mama. 2-1 is just, for that, it just seems so fucking random than skilled. That's why it's so easy to do, slash, so easy to fuck up, I guess. 
That's just me, honestly. Freaking World 1-5. That's an easier wrong warp than 2-1 for me. That's just me. I don't get it. So yeah, we can just run it against these guys, or we can jump on them. But we gotta destroy all the ones that we can with the path that we take in order to get that coin there. So now we're gonna have to do that again. Right down here. Hold left. And we can go. So we're racing these fools. We can destroy them as well. Which is what we're gonna do with some of these guys. Mainly the f guy that's in first place so we can get that DK coin. Shit. I'm surprised I remember how to do this. Okay. This is dangerous. This is dangerously fast. But we're doing it. And I'm okay with that. There's the O. I don't give a fuck. I just want to stay alive. There's the N. That I don't give a fuck about now. Damn, now I have to give a fuck. See, we were doing so good. That is making my head spin. And we already got the bonus. The exclamation point. So the last level and this level only had one bonus in it. So we're in 10th place. We start off in 10th place. And we got to get through this madness without dying. By falling off. I mean, that's the only luxury of coming in first is getting that DK coin. Yeah, I, I remember always wanting to jump there. And I remember now it's not the... It's not the way to go. So, it's cool that I bought some of these games again on the Wii U. So I can just play them and practice them like I did with uh, Mario Bros. 3 at one point. Didn't really get to finish it on the Wii U because I'd rather just finish it on the Super Nintendo. But, Mario 3 is always a game to go back and play. Of course, it's one of the best ones. So, we'll do it again once I get my... NES working and we actually played on the NES hardware the Nintendo Entertainment System the very first one the NES the NES oh my god right now we're on the SNES Super Nintendo with these games but uh yeah just gotta do this together Ariel Rush. as we are Donkey Kong's minions. Let's just Diddy and Dixie together, lovers on an adventure. What do you know? That's what it feels like, and it's just kind of sad, I guess. I don't know. It happens in life, but I had a previous girlfriend before her starting this let's play, but things happen and it's okay I'm glad we got the O this time though oh but I fell anyways damn considering I guess there's some history when it comes to this game well obviously when it comes to me but the girl that I was with previously we've had a history together the girl I've met November 28th, 2011. Girl that I wanted to meet in California. Um, very long story between me and her, considering it's been over six years since we've met and known each other, and I've talked about her during some of my other videos, like I've mentioned before, trying to meet her and stuff, which I still want to, and I'd love to just visit California since I've been to Florida now, and all that good stuff but only as friends <clears throat> at this point friends that has a history together right now friends that need a break between each other because of all that's happened between each other and what we've been through as I keep falling but <clears throat> yeah six years Six years and pretty much two months that we've known each other, I guess you could say. I wouldn't say since we've been together, 
But I mean, it was an online relationship. I mean, I guess you can say that's the reason why it didn't work out, but it's just the things that we've done. Oh my god, Alex. Stop doing that. We're going to get a game over. I'm. Well, we already saved it, technically. The only thing different was we did the wrong warp, so. And only other thing different is we got this bonus coin, so. I think it saves that. I'm pretty sure we established that. It's just been so long for me. If you've been binge watching this, congrats for one. You made it this far. <laughs> and for two. Uh, thank you. Maybe you know now. I got scared that I jumped there. Don't jump here. Now jump. Alright. Alright. It's really hard to fucking concentrate on this now and focus on talking about things. Oh my god, that was close. Pretty much jump when you see that exclamation point. Otherwise, we had the O last time. We died again anyway, so we have a second chance. That's all I care about. I want that O. I want the Kong letters. Because I think one of these guys also has the G. Other than that N. <coughs> so yeah. But now, after a history of love and life and living and learning, I am now with someone else who I truly care about, who really supports me and watches my videos and stuff, and everything else that I do. She's the reason why I want to go back to college, because all the shit she's doing with school and trying to better herself. God damn it. Oh, fucking thank God. But yeah, I wanted that O. Oh well. This is focusing and concentration to the max about someone that I care about. Because this is our power of love. Oh my god, I got the G. This motherfucker. Don't want to jump over him. want to jump on him. DK coin. And there we go. First place. We made it. We did it. Power of love. Hook right there. Get some honey bunches of bananas. I don't know what else to say about it. All I know is I'm glad I have her in my life now. Compared to everything else I've been through. It just worked out for the best. So now, Swanky's bonus bonanza. Let's see if we can answer these questions together now. Alright, here we go. Swanky time. Welcome back. It's been a while. You've joined us as the Kongs are about to choose their game. No help from the audience, please. Yeah, uh, so we got enough coins to do this. So, Wrinkly's winner. That kind of sounds wrong, I don't know. What is the name of this area of the island? Uh, Crazy Kremlin. Alright, on to the next round. What color is your parrot buddy? Red, green, and yellow. No black. There's no black. There's no brown. You clever little monkey. Now, listen carefully. What is the name of the two companies that produce this game? And Donkey Kong Country. Uh, Rare and Nintendo, motherfuckers, of course. Who else would it be, really? Crazy Quiz. You spelled quiz wrong, but I like it. What is the name of the first wasp hive level in this area of the island? Hornet Hole. Good answer. <laughs> I bet. What is the name of the old lady Kong who runs Kong College? Wrinkly Kong. Good answer. Of course it is. Which of these items cannot be found at the Columbus kiosk? A uh, picture of K. Rule, oil drum, boxing gloves, and punching bag. I think that actually is there. Picture of K. Rule. There you go. That was there. Just no picture of K. Rule. So three out of three. You're pretty good at this. I know my Donkey Kong and my booty. So let's go with the Baboon booty. What is your snake buddy's name? Slithers. No, it's Rattly. Okay, try this one. What color... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> what color waistcoat does old man Cranky Kong wear in Monkey Museum? It's green. Yes, let's play on. Which of these enemies have you not seen yet during this area of the island? Cutlass the Swordsman, Zinger the Wasp, Cat of Ninetales. We have not seen that yet. And 
technically, right, we haven't, right? We you, ha you have to come here first. Because we will actually see him in the next level right now. But before we do, let's visit our good old Cranky Kong. Wearing that green thing on him. The waistcoat. Try all you like. This game will never be as good as DKC, which was rubbish anyway. Nah, this game's better than the first DKC, and honestly. Uh, girl Heroes in Video Games? Pa. I can't believe it. The main character should be really muscle-bound. Well, you know, it's the power of love, dude. Have you not freaking heard the rant I just gave you and everyone else watching this? So, I love... Like I said, Thunder from Killer Instinct back there, but it says KI right, uh, here, right there, on the screen for Killer Instinct, so I love that so much. And then you see, like, the big bad guys being produced in, onto the roller coasters. It's pretty neat. But now we can move on to the next half of the world, the final two levels, Mudhole Marsh, one of the last swamp levels of the game. One of the hardest ones, too. These levels are always pretty fascinating. I always think of these levels, trying to get through them. There's the cat of nine tails, he just grabs you, and you also control where you go when he does. Oh my god, I thought there was a platform down there. Guess not. Not not in the swamp levels. That's why they're kind of difficult, because you just bust right through. Okay, yeah, you have to jump on him in order to, for that to happen, I think. Because if you run into him, you're just screwed. You're dead. You're dead meat, man. So actually, technically, there's another wrong warp, this level, that's really not that difficult at all. I kind of forgot about it until now, so I didn't really practice it. Uh, so, haha. -ha. I don't know what was in that other chest. We'll probably never find out now. But I'll take my DK any day. As I just bounced over him. Threw it over him. Oh my god. Okay, so... I'm gonna need you. Thank you. Hold up and write. Oh my god. That doesn't work either. Wow. Well... Halfway mark's right freaking there. But, you know, I need my Dixie. I need, I need my baby girl. I need my lover to help me out here so we can team up and get through everything. So we get that bonus. Still trying to go for the K. And everything else. With Cat of Nine Tails right there. Now we'll probably find out what's in here. That's the main part. Uh main point in this oh bananas I mean that's useful too for lives but I lost a life trying to get to it pretty much well mostly for the bonus not this oh my god that's my reassurance policy and I just despawned the oh my god I despawned the O, oh, so we're just gonna die and get that. See, this is hard. Not really. I'm just really screwing it up. It's not really hard yet. But yeah, I love these platforming levels in the swamp. That's what it usually reminds me of when it's like me and my girlfriend playing this and we're like taking turns. I'm like pretty much helping her get through it, mostly. Because we're a team. Ugh. Being all fancy and shit. How we roll, man. It's how we roll. Okay, give me the O. Well, give me my girlfriend back first. No. Come back here that we can't even jump on. See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Just screwing it up. Yep. Mistiming my jumps there happens. But yeah, you can pretty much control yourself most of the time if you're in that ca uh, cat of nine tails. Okay, if it wasn't for that bird, I'd be fine. Just 
swooping down on my ass. Come on now. Alright. Let's break all these. Oh my god. Ush. That was sick. In a way. That was close, more or less. Than anything. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Oh my god. We're doing this again. Come on. You won't have to throw me up now. You won't have to wait, man. Come on. He likes storming the fucking other way. That worked that time. Holy shit. Some of them, I guess, were just spot on at what they want to do. That was great. Well, I wanted to land here by throwing them. See, like that. There we go. Teamwork makes a dream work. And our dream is to get everything in every game ever. Not, not entirely, just the games that I really like playing and care about. Yeah, you can just get lost. I ain't dealing with that. All right, we're getting there. Oh my God! As soon as I say that, <coughs> I held back a little bit too much. I was trying to land on there. Grab the little. Oh, okay. Don't hold right. Just fall straight down, and then hold right. Yeah, it's definitely this level. Cause you gotta do some crazy shit with like the cannonball in order to get the wrong warp. Okay, we're just gonna screw it up again, anyways. Okay, please. I said please. I thought I could go up. Some of them just they're they're designed to just throw you straight to the right. Which really sucks. Get out of here. Okay, we're Diddy now doing this. Much better. Come on. Bait your ass. Okay, wait. I want the freaking coin. that bad not doesn't mean that much to me fuck it there we go that's how you do it okay I might pause the video honestly and try to do this fuck out of here with that but we we need the bonus first anyways we're gonna have to come back here then if, if we're really gonna show that off I really forgot about it. Uh, that didn't come back down. That's kind of funny. Alright. I mean, I guess we can go backwards and get another one. But yeah, it has to do with these guys. The beetles. Beetle clashing. Nice. I had to go for it. Okay, I hear him. He's shooting. Alright, because this is the end of the level, ain't it? Don't, motherfucker. That's why the cat could just go die. Bitch. Oh my god. Good thing we were Dixie. Alright, we're going to have to use this guy for the DK coin. There we go. Time that pretty damn good. So, <laughs> uh, I will meet you guys there in the halfway mark so we can do that then, I guess. I didn't know we was going to do that for this video. So, BRB.
as I remember how to do it. Okay guys, we made it to the part where we start to do this, which is at the cannonball. Um, we are Diddy, we need to be Diddy to do this, in order for this to work. So go out of Be Beetle Clash, off two guys, off two things. So, I guess, I, I didn't practice this yet, I I've seen it, I've seen it done. So we're gonna have to keep this, we're gonna have to move over there. I've, I don't think I've ever done this on the Super Nintendo, I've done it on the Wii U, but we need to, oh my god, we need to land over there on that ledge without using the cannonball to get in there. Because we're going to have to keep it in order to do this wrong warp on those beetles. So, I would say BRB again, but we're pretty much already right there. Uh, I don't know how to really explain it, to be honest. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's a crazy setup. Uh... Kinda, I, I would, oh my god. Well, when you lose Diddy, I would say it's kinda difficult. Just, just because, but once you get it down, it's not too, it's not too bad. At least I hope not. We're about to find out if we can get it first try or not. Don't really need the N because I didn't get the O. That's unique. Alright. Go ahead and start right here with Diddy. Of course, you know, with the whole loading certain things in and all that. Being at certain spots at certain times. Definitely plays into effect. So, we're going to have to throw this... Ha like, you see that post there on, on that land that we're about to land on. We're going to have to throw it halfway before then land there so when it hits the beetle the explosion appears and that explosion also actually counts as like memory being loaded onto the screen so we have to load that first before we load the third beetle so oh my god that really went to hell oh shush so something like that, except, you know, we gotta wait a little bit for that explosion to be on screen. And then we move, oh, and then we move forward to load the third one, use the third one, get close to the cannonball, beetle clash with the other beetle. get the cannonball without moving too far to the right to load more memory so we gotta quickly pick it up you know tap on it and move back and then we should be good damn it oh shush we used it in there don't even move left don't even adjust yourself don't even adjust your TV screens you know just go for it. Oh my god. I'll meet you guys back there. After that shit. Oh my god. Alright guys. Let's see if we can do this. Once again. Uh, I guess so... It gets so anxious when I throw it. It's not even funny. That works. This might work. Nope. Oh, shush. We want to edit this out. Just let you know, Alex. I don't think anything too crazy is going to happen here. Unless we get it, but if we get it, it's going to be locked in, so. Oh, well. Oh, well. I say that. And that should happen. It's pretty crazy.
I'd say. Okay. We didn't get it. Oh, shush, shush. So, when you do that, when you Beetle Clash right on it, you have to... I, I think it's because I went too far right, honestly, when we did it. Everything else seemed pretty good. But once you Beetle Clash, you want to jump in the air, throw it to the left, and land on the Beetle, and then pick up the Cannonball. I kind of forgot to mention that. So, I'll meet you guys back there. Once again. No! I want to be fancy, damn it. Let me be fancy. Oh, fuck yeah. Give it to me. Give it to me, Neil. Oh my god, I thought I fucked that up. Oh, I went too far to the right again. I think I'm just going to be done with it right there, because that's pretty much... I showed you the setup and how it's done. I'm just not getting it, because I'm moving too far to the right. I just want to move on and actually beat this world and end this episode. So, hush. We are... What are we? Rambi's Rumble thing? Oh my god. We got one up, thank god. That motherfucker. We land on the side of that. This is where it's about to go down. This level scared the fucking shit out of me. Ugh, when I was a kid. When, you'll see the part coming up. But oh my god. Because the shit I've already been through when it comes to fucking bees stinging me as a kid. It only happened once, but it scarred me for life. I'm still deathly afraid of fucking bees. We can't go up there even more. Okay, no, that's just the second part of the stage. We have to come down like this. Be fancy. Be fancy. Okay. And all this is just takes you back down the level. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that at all. I want that, though. I'll take that. That's all I'm coming down for. I was about to say, oh no. I knew that was coming. Yeah. There's really no death. Just, oh, there's a coin there. But, yeah, Rambi Rumble. And then you got this guy open now. Club is Kiosk. We can do a lot of them, but we'll save those for last. That's where he is for this level. This world. Then you got the freaking... Boo circle right here from Mario World, but with bees. Like, holy crap. Like, really. They're gonna do everything to stop us. But yeah. You will see the part when it comes. I'm trying to be a little bit too fast. Just a little bit. Oh my god. We can also do it like that. Which I kind of don't trust, honestly. Yeah, I'm not trying to go for that one freaking coin when we have like over 20. Almost. Alright, there we go. So I knew I was screwed there. I should have went for it. The first time around. Can we just... Okay, yeah. We just... And it appears a hook there for us. Oh, that sucks. You gotta time it to where you're not gonna bonk your head there. Or you bonk your head and it gives it to you. There you go. Yeah, 14. Close to 20. Like, really. We don't really need that much. So. And another one of these. Except they want you to do it like this now. As fast as you can instead of just going left and right. Wall jumping on the honey. Getting the money. And the coin respawns. Could go for it again. So we can get 15. 
but that's a bit redundant, honestly. Halfway mark, yay! So now we get to play the fun part of the level. Uh, but before we do that, I think, yeah, we can just throw ourselves up here. So you can definitely still get this coin uh, with Rambi, but we need to go through here now. That's just, that's the legit way to do it. There's the hook. But you can throw your teammate up there and get that. We can throw him up. Or, let's get our one up. And get him. So here's our Rambi. For this level. So we can destroy these fucking bees. Cause screw these bees. Okay, wait. Yeah, I think, yeah, we can just Rambi jump. There we go. That's how you can do it. But yeah. <coughs> oh, we can just charge right through here. Pretty much, essentially. That's what we're gonna do. Like, I mean, look at this shit. Okay. This part. That thing. Oh my god. Making that fucking noise. That music. That scary ass music out of nowhere. And you see that bee out of nowhere. And he's chasing your ass. That scared the fuck out of me because that's exactly what I've been through. That's exactly what I went through. And that fucker will catch up to you. But we need to charge through here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, we're good. We made it through it. That's pretty much the end of the level. And we just run through it right on the supercharge. Destroy everything with Rambi. Give me the coin. So we need that bonus. And we're at the end. Fucking Queen Bee. Hey, we got everything but the K. Oh well, I'm glad we got through that level. Scared the shit out of me as a kid, I'm telling you. Ugh. So, I'm gonna save it now, because I'm gonna have to fight this boss again anyways. But let's end the video by now fighting the bee that was chasing us. The Queen Bee. After beating the King Bee. Oh, no, this is the King Bee. So I think the previous game was the King Bee, wasn't it? King, Z King Zinger. Zing King. The Zing King. Let's see what this one says. I had the story mixed up for a second. Because now... Now this is the King. We defeated the Queen. Now the King wants his revenge. King Zing Sting. Ha ha ha. Fighting this boss is pretty fun, though. Because we're the fucking parrot. And we get to have our trick shots. By trick shots, I mean fast shots by hitting the that little tiny spot right there. His, his zinger. That stings us. Alright. Because everything else just bounces off of him. So it's really fun to like just get quick shots off of him if I can do it. Oops. This boss isn't really that hard. Oh, shush. But I think it's just because of that. It's probably the hardest out of all of them. Like out of all the bosses you have to fight. To me though, I think the next world would be the hardest boss. So let's see if we can get these uh, quick shots. Oh, that was close. Without getting hit, of course. So the squawks part of DKC2 is like pretty fun because of that. Always just being fast and precise to hit this motherfucker. And he gets faster, of course. Oh, that was nice. Okay, you can get a shot on him oh, okay on the, on the on that middle B if you're fast enough I think it's like a really f good frame perfect thing to do but there you go so he like Wrinkly was telling us he dissolves into like five B's one in the middle and 
Borgs surrounding him, destroy them, and keep fighting him as he shrinks into a small ass B, a lowercase B, not a capital B. And then we beat him. So that is it for Crazy Kremlin. We finally beat it. World 4 is done. Now we're on World 5. I love this world based off of the music played. It's very chilling, like relaxing and good. And it does remind me of the past in a way that I've mentioned before in this episode, which I'll probably mention again anyways, because of history and stuff. So, we will do that next time. Uh, Gloomy Gulch, as we are headed our way into May, as it was supposed to be April for World 4, so we're pretty much still on time. It'll be all uploaded by my birthday. That's the That's the point of it. So I will see you guys then next time when we do this, and I'll tell you more about my life as we continue playing games, and I'll tell you the story of my side of it when it comes to these games. Yeah. Anyways, so I'll see you guys next time for DKC2 World 5. We're almost there. Just got two more episodes to go. Well, three more after this, but after the next one, we got two more to go. So we're almost there at the very end, guys. So I'll see you guys there. Ooh.